Sometimes the best part of the big game isn't the football, it's the ads. And often the best Super Bowl ads are the car ones. Think about when Eminem introduced the Chrysler 200, when Volkswagen gave a little kid the force, or when Ford showed us the one. Those are commercials that will live eternally as examples of advertising greatness. We've already got our hands on almost all the car ads that'll debut at Super Bowl 50. Will any of them make the car ad hall of fame alongside these greats? Well, let's find out. Now topping our list is Buick's all new Cascada ad. Their 30 second spot features New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. and model Emily Ratajkowski. Unfortunately, Buick is the only one on our list that didn't release their ad ahead of the big game. But we managed to get our hands on a little teaser spot anyway, so check it out. The full ad will be GM's first Super Bowl spot after they opted out last year. But at the number nine spot is Honda's A New Truck To Love ad that shows off their new Honda Ridgeline with an audio system in the bed of the truck. Each morning I get up, I die a little. Can't barely stand on my feet. Take a look at yourself. Look look in the mirror and cry. And cry. Oh, what you doing yeah, yeah. here? I spent all my years Ooh. believing you. I, I just can't get Somebody. Somebody, anybody find me. Somebody to. Introducing the all new Ridgeline, the only truck with an available truck bed audio system. A new truck to love. From Honda. That'll be Honda's only ad at the Super Bowl, and you'll be able to see that in its 60 second form in the third quarter. Unlike Honda, Hyundai, the NFL's official sponsor, will hog the commercial breaks with three spots. Two 30 second spots will be in the first half and a 60 second spot will show in the commercial pod just before kickoff. One of which is called The Chase and it shows off the Elantra's voice activated starter. So let's check that out. Go, go, go! Start my car! You talk, it starts. Remote start on the all-new Hyundai Elantra. Did he just talk start that car? I just wanted to hug him. I was gonna eat him. Thought you were vegan. That's my cheat day, so I'll just eat around it. At number seven on our list is Kia, who got Christopher Walken to show off a 2016 Optima in this 60 second third quarter spot. They call this one Walk-In Closet. Let's find out why. Honey, do you know where my beige socks are? Check the walk-in closet. Richard, are you looking for these? There are two types of people in the world. Those who are content to blend in, these people walk through life like beige socks, uninspired and bored. Then there are those who expect more. They're exciting. They have pizzazz. Eventually, the beige sock people get lost or devoured by the ones who stand out. Do you want to be devoured, Richard? No. What is that? It's the new Kia Optima. It's like the world's most exciting pair of socks, but it's a mid-size sedan. Please, try it on for size. Whoa. Whoa was right. Punch it, Richard. Come on, punch it. At number six is Acura, who previously showed off their NSX at the 2012 Super Bowl in the ad that featured Jerry Seinfeld and Jay Leno battling it out for the first NSX that rolls off the production line. Now that the NSX is finally almost here, they just got Van Halen to do the talking this time around. Yeah! 
You'll be able to see that ad again in the first quarter. At number five on our list is another Hyundai ad, this time featuring funny man Kevin Hart abusing their new car tracking feature. Oh, you look good. Thank you. Hey! See the guy taking my little girl out, huh? Yep. Huh. You know what, why don't you go ahead and take my new car? Thanks, Pops. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> Favorite spot? Favorite girl. You messed in with the wrong daddy! I'm taking you home. Why? Car Finder on the Hyundai Genesis. Back so soon? Here you go, sir. Because a dad's gotta do what a dad's got to do. Honey, what'd you guys do tonight? Hey, I'd probably do the same thing too if it were my daughter. At number four, BMW used their only ad spot to spotlight the new Mini Clubman. They got six celebrities on board to highlight the Mini's first return to the Super Bowl since 2011. Let's check it out. This is a chick car. This is a gay car. This is a short man's car. This is a cute car. Slow car. This is a single young professional car. This car has no street cred. This car ain't hip hop. Kidless. Cute. Small. This car doesn't care what you call it. That powerful statement from Minnie will be shown sometime in the third quarter. Were you able to name all six celebrities? Clocking in at number three is the best of the Hyundai ads, this time featuring Deadpool's Ryan Reynolds. Can you give me a warning? Sure. Warning, here comes your ticket. A car that doesn't get distracted. Auto emergency braking with pedestrian detection. On the all new Hyundai Elantra. Now, I love Ryan. I want to live in Ryanville. Just saying. Now, the last two spots is where making these lists get hard. In fact, these last two spots are some of the most memorable ads of Super Bowl Sunday. But after much deliberation, here's our runner up. Brace yourself for Heck on Wheels. Working for the man from nine to five. But when I'm on the road, feeling bad and bold, it's the only time I feel alive. <laughs> they can't believe what their eyes have seen. They never thought a breeze could feel so badass. It's hybrid mayhem on the road. It goes a bunch of friggin' miles on so little, yeah. It's head on wheels. I just don't give a dang. Head on wheels. Coming after you, but he's not after you, so you let him through. Cause Johnny Lott is passing you right on by. Yeah, this mother truck and ride is keeping it safe. So now I don't spill my chai. Come on! Yeah! Tell them about Heck on Wheels! Toyota, let's go places. Now you have to really appreciate when a company can make fun of themselves. Toyota's Prius ad, Heck on Wheels, will be taking full advantage of the coveted first half two minute warning spot, and it's sure to get the most laughs. Ultimately, the ad that topped our list steered toward the sentimental side. So without further ado, here's our number one car ad of Super Bowl 50. Mr. President, thank you for choosing the moon. 
sure to send shivers down everyone's spine when it plays during the first quarter. Even David Bowie's Starman is a perfect touch to a brilliantly crafted ad. Audi's R8 Commander ad topped our list, but do you think it'll really go down as one of the all-time great car advertisements? Let us know what you think of our list in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Ken with Four Wheel Online.